Hi, I'm Devin, and this is Building an Over-Engineered Deck, Part 2. Uh, let's see, let's go and take a look at the deck so far. Um, all right, we'll back off a little bit and we'll do a quick review. Uh, six by six posts, there's eight of them. Each post is uh, anchored and sitting on a one inch offset, uh, one inch galvanized steel offset, um, and sitting on a 12 inch diameter by 42 inch deep uh, concrete pylon. Our frost line is 42 inches here in, in Michigan, so. Uh, I've got eight of those, and then out here at the end of the stairs, this is uh, 30, uh, 52 by 52 uh, wide, uh, nine inch deep uh, across the main part, and then that part there goes down 42 inches, reinforced with uh, steel and rebar, concrete block. It's about 3,600 3, pounds of concrete, sitting on 800 pounds of compacted sand, and. As you can see, the stair stringers get down. They're not on the ground. They're on one inch steel offsets. So none of the wood touches the ground, which means the wood's not going to rot. And it's freaking solid as heck. We've got the uh, doubled two by eight beams. Both, both of them are doubled. We already talked about how the joists were attached on the last one. We're going to talk about um, some additional structural work that was done to the deck, primarily to stop any vibration or movement. So we've got locking in here. And you'll see it alternates the entire length, both sides. That's just a scab piece of plywood there so I can have something to walk around on. And you'll notice it's offset. It's not in line. And the reason it's offset not in line is one, it's easier to do because you can just nail and nail. Two, when they're in line, you can get a harmonic wave of vibration and you'll feel it from one side of the deck to the other. When they're offset like this, it breaks that up. So dancing on this side of the deck, you don't feel on that side of the deck. Pretty nice, look at my wiggly finger. Okay, so here's the posts. Now the posts are, uh, if I fall off the damn ladder, the posts are done in such a way because they get a lot of a lot of movement. So you don't want any movement out that way and you don't want any movement out this way. And so what we've got in here, if you look, we've got an anchor bracket. These are anchored in. There's a three inch long uh, uh, screw that goes in structurally across both pieces, locks in here and here. And then here, you'll notice, we've got the threaded rod and it comes out over into 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 here on this side of the joists and what that does is it spreads the load out so the load isn't just focused on the corner it allows the load to be carried all the way down here through through both both of these joists and the backer joist so a lot of strength there and then we've got a middle uh, post I'll talk about this middle post and then we'll talk about the stringers real quick so here's this middle post you notice I've got the main joist here that the middle post rests up against is a four by four post and then I've got a back or backing joist that comes up to the back side of it runs the entire length anchors in back there as well and then let's see we've got these three inch screws locking these two joists together and then we have a very similar type of structure here we've got the bracket here locked in tightly uh, this is a half inch threaded bolt screwed in anchored there's another one down there but i don't need a, a secondary bracket just like that and then a piece of blocking wood here between these two joists um, and that allows this post to not move out or sideways at all crazy so here here's the stringers we come down here and let me let's first talk about how the stringers were attached so instead of just attaching the stringers to the ridge or excuse me, to the, to the, to the rim board or, or the uh, rim joist, as some people would call it. Instead of attaching that, because the rim joist isn't really made to carry that load, it's carrying all the load from all the joists. So we put a second load carrying board here, and this load carrying board is anchored in. You'll see we've got triple, uh, double 4x4s there with a backer 4x4 there. Got the same thing over on this side here. 
uh, this kit, this allows the entire load of this to be transferred directly into the beams, into the posts, and straight down into the ground. Awesome. So we can put a lot of weight on these stringers. And then you'll notice I've got kind of overdone it on the stringers. I've got five stringers. They're about a foot apart each. Uh, some of them are not quite even. Uh, this gap is a little wider than this gap. So, but whatever. And then they're, like I said, anchored into the concrete. Now here's this post critically important because people are going to come flying down the stairs. They're going to have their hand out and they're going to grab this and they're going to swing around and they're going to run over there. And that this post here is going to get an incredible amount of load on it just because that's what people do. You come down, you grab it, you swing, you head that way um, or you can head out that way, but that's into the yard. So this, this, this post is going to have a massive amount of load and stress on it. So let's see how it's anchored. First off, we've got structural screws anchoring it here and here, going all the way through into this back piece. You'll notice we've got an offset 2x4 that it's sitting on, or that it's sitting next to. This offset 2x4 runs on top of the brackets down as well. Then I've got the rim, the rim joist part of the front, a load bearing that goes all the way across. You see, I've got this blocking all the way across. And I've got the same type of structural threaded screw coming into a, a, a bracket here just as I did on the other uh, up, up top and then I've got more blocking all the way in the blocking is anchored in with structural screws to each one of them these are double two by fours that are screwed in structurally to one another and then it, of course anchored to the ground and then oh, out here on the rim stringer you'll see I've got there's the main 